Fisher, you've just been selected by the Adelaide Football Club with pick number six. How are the feelings right now? Oh, it's just amazing. Yeah, I never really felt like this before. Um, yeah, just so stoked to finally be an AFL club. Um, and to be at Adelaide, it's just, yeah, it's awesome. Uh, obviously, great club, great history. So, yeah, I'm just stoked. Do you have any indication the Crows were going to take you? Have they had many conversations in the lead up to the draft and with your family? Um, not so much in the lead up to the draft, probably more throughout the year. Um, but yeah, I've spoken quite a bit, so I knew that they were um, one of the more keen clubs. So um, yeah, I had a bit of an indication that they might be keen, but yeah, obviously you never know until your name's called out. And what has Matthew Nix uh, said to you so far? It's only been a few minutes, but he got you on the stage and had a conversation after. What was his uh, words to you? Uh, yeah, he just yeah, gave me support and said, we, uh, um, we'd love to have you on board and um, we're really happy for you to be here and just yeah, so I could enjoy the moment. So yeah, that's what I'll be doing tonight. Some uh, key tools at the Crows that are pretty established, uh, Daniel Talia and Tom Duday, those types. Are you excited to sort of work alongside them and under them? Oh yeah, for sure. Obviously, it'll be a um, yeah, great experience to have um, key defenders and key forwards um, alike that are yeah, really great to work with and um, I'm sure I'll learn so much from them and it'll really help me with my development for sure. And for Crows uh, fans who might not have seen you play, can you describe yourself as a player? Um, yeah, I'm probably my, my strength is probably my contested marking. Um, yeah, that'll be my main strength. Um, probably a pretty versatile player as well. I'm lucky to think I can play forward and back. So, um, yeah, versatile player that's a um, good marker, yeah. Do you have a preferred position out of those two, forward or back? Um, oh, not really, to be honest. Um, I mean, I probably played more footy at higher level this year as a defender, but um, we also love playing forward, so um, I'm really open to wherever. Um, just, yeah, it depends on where the coaches want me. And a bit of a sporting background, I understand you played junior basketball under Andrew Gaze for four years, is that correct? And talk us through that. Yes, yeah, so I played under Gaze for four years. It was a great experience, obviously, just being in that high high level environment um, with a high level coach and yeah um, those sort of basketball skills have really sort of translated over into footy so yeah um, it's a great experience. And off your understand also you're big on your beach and surfing and uh, obviously Adelaide's beaches are pretty nice. Do you know, have you been over there and do you know much about those? Yeah it's really exciting. Um, I haven't, I've only been to Adelaide a couple of times and for short stays but um, yeah I heard the beaches are really nice there so yeah I'd be looking forward to um, getting into the beach there yeah, for sure. And who are some of the biggest influences on your career? Obviously your dad played one game for St Kilda back in the day and I'm sure he's told you about that, but uh, has he been the biggest influence? Yeah, probably, yeah, he's been a big influence. Um, just always been there for me, I guess, yeah, my whole life and um, hasn't really pushed me into footy, um, hasn't really needed to. I've found him pretty self-motivated, so he's, um, yeah, been really sort of good. And, yeah, not, not pushing me into it, but just giving me tips every now and then, yeah, for sure. All right, thanks for your time, mate. Welcome to the club. No worries. Thanks for having me.